So I've made multiple top 10 videos on this channel about the best Minecraft plugins. Eventually these videos have kind of turned into a series and I was looking into making a part 5. Until I actually started watching back these videos. First of all, they're quite old, but also very, very messy. For example, some plugins are accidentally covered in multiple videos. Also, some of the plugins I've covered are not even available anymore. It was also a big mix of free and paid plugins, which made it even more confusing. Looking back, it is just very chaotic. So instead of making a part 5, I've decided to start a brand new series. 15 incredible free plugins for your Minecraft server. In every single episode, I will cover 15 plugins that are amazing and 100% free to download and use. Now, I wanna make this series a more consistent thing. So not just one episode per year, like with the top 10 series. Also in this video and upcoming episodes, you might see some plugins that I've covered in top 10 videos before, because I'm starting completely over from zero. But do note that every single episode of this series will cover 100% unique plugins. Meaning that after four episodes, we've already covered 60 plugins. Now, if you want to suggest a plugin for inclusion in an upcoming episode, you can suggest it over on my Discord server, the Kasasara Universe. In there, there's a suggestions channel with a brand new tag called Top 15. Simply create a new post, add the Top 15 tag, and send the link of the plugin you think should be included. It is not a 100% guarantee, but I will look over these suggestions, and if they're great, they might be included in a future episodes. Also, I do want to ask you to check if you're subscribed to my channel. Close to 90% of my daily viewers is not actually subscribed. So you might think you are, but big chance you're not. So if you could double check if that subscribe button is actually pressed, that would mean the world to me. You have no clue how much subscribing actually helps me out. So the first plugin on today's list is a plugin that blew me away since day one. Realistic Survival. This essentially is the plugin variant of Minecraft's most famous mod pack, RLCraft. It makes your Minecraft server so much more realistic. So instead of just chopping wood, you have to gather all sorts of weird and crazy materials before you can even get your first log. It also adds a ton of custom items. It adds temperature to the game. It also adds thirst and you can't even drink normal water. You have to cook it first, otherwise you're gonna get sick. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Realistic survival really is the RLCraft of the plugins. And if you want to make your Minecraft server a little more challenging, I would highly recommend and grabbing it. Now next up we got Mythic Mobs. Now Mythic Mobs is a very cool Minecraft plugin which allows you to make custom mobs inside of Minecraft. Now the models itself, so the mob you actually see in game, those are added with model engine. But the configuration of a mob, so how fast they are, how many lives they have, how they behave, what they can do, just everything, what makes that mob that mob, that is all done with Mythic Mobs. It is incredibly cool to have custom mobs inside of your server. We all know this sheep we all know the donkey but how cool would it be if you can add any mob you want to the game well mythic mobs can do precisely that it's an incredible plugin used by many minecraft servers that really want to create a unique experience that you can't get anywhere else so highly recommended and now let's move on to the next one Better Teams. So Better Teams is a plugin which adds teams to your Minecraft server. Everybody can create a team. They can give it a name, they can give it a tag, and after that, they can start inviting members. Now, your team can level up by either having a lot of in-game money or killing other players. When a team levels up, they can have more members and other cool perks. And overall, it is just a very cool way to kind of have guilds in your Minecraft server without it being a full-fledged faction server. I've used it on StarCraft my previous Minecraft server and I would highly recommend it. It is super cool. And then next on the list, we got Spawner Meta. A Spawner Meta is a Minecraft plugin which completely changes how spawners work. Basically allows you to buy, upgrade and recharge spawners. Meaning that with this plugin, besides finding them, you can also buy them, you can upgrade them so you can make them better and you can also recharge them. So after a while, a spawner will run out and then you can just recharge a spawner to make it work again. It makes spawners so much more usable and it also makes it manageable for server owners. If a spawner is constantly spawning mobs, it can become very laggy. So having a recharge feature can actually save you from that. It is very cool and if you know your players are gonna want big mob farms filled with spawners, then I would absolutely recommend getting this plugin. And next up, we're gonna talk about some Minecraft server monetization with 
Crafting Store. So Crafting Store is a Minecraft plugin and service that allows you to monetize your Minecraft server by, for example, selling ranks or items or in-game money. Whatever you want to sell, you can sell it through Crafting Store. Now, I do want to point out Crafting Store is not always free. They have some free plans which you can use without any problem, but a lot of cool features are actually behind a paywall. Though for 99% of people, the free plan will be sufficient, which is why I still feel it deserves a spot on this list. And then, have you ever wanted to create a custom GUI in Minecraft? Well, you can do that with Deluxe Menus. It is a 100% free GUI creation plugin. So if you want a custom hub menu, or you want a custom menu for your moderators, or you want to have a custom menu with different warps, it really doesn't matter. Whatever you want to create, Deluxe Menus can do it. You can just assign commands to different items. So as soon as you click on an item inside of a menu, it will execute a command and something will happen. Whatever you want, it is all possible. It's a very cool plugin. And even though it might sometimes be a little tedious to set that up, as soon as you got what you want, it is actually amazing. And then we got our very first generation plugin in today's list. And it is none other than Better Structures. Now, Better Structures basically adds more structures to your Minecraft world. It will work perfectly fine in the overworld, nether and end, so you can have custom structures everywhere. And you can completely decide yourself if you just want to download some structures, which you can totally do. The creator of this plugin actually has a ton of custom structures available for you to download and use for free or you can create a structure of your own and add that i've made a full video on this channel about how it all works but it's really cool and it really makes your minecraft server a lot more interesting now that we're already talking about generation in a minecraft server we also have to mention chunky so chunky is a minecraft plugin which can pre-generate your world now why would you want that if you use a custom generation plugin or if you just have a ton of players online then all of those players generating new terrain can cost a lot of server resources it doesn't matter what type of hardware you're running if you got too many players generating new terrain at the same time your server Server will start to lag. And that is where Chunky comes in. It can pre-generate your worlds, meaning that as soon as your players start exploring, the server only has to load in the new terrain. Now that is way less resource intensive. And for any public Minecraft server that has more than 15 players or that uses a custom generation plugin, I would highly recommend getting Chunky and pre-generating your terrain. As a server owner, you want to do everything to make sure your server doesn't lag. It might take a little while, but it it is 100% worth it. And next on the list, we got a plugin that many people think is actually paid, but it's free. It is Citizens. So Citizens is a plugin which allows you to create NPCs inside of Minecraft. It can be a player NPC, it can be an NPC of a mob. You could just let it stand there. Or maybe you want to let it walk around. Whatever you want to do, Citizens can do it. Now, if you go to Citizens Spig and MC page, you actually need to log in because it is a paid plugin over there. Though what many people don't know is that you can also get Citizens for free. If you just log into a Spig and MC account, there will be a little link which takes you to a free download. The only reason it is paid on Spigot is because it is just a way to support the creator. But for those who are not able to afford that, you can just download it for free. Citizens is absolutely legendary, best NPC plugin out there in my opinion. So if you want to do anything with NPCs, get Citizens. It is awesome. And now it is time for the second generation plugin, Terra. So Terra is really cool. It is a generation plugin which will improve your world generation by a lot. It makes it way prettier. But Terra has another very cool feature. You can very easily download and install Terra generation packs, which essentially are pre-made packs that you can just download, add to Terra, and it will completely change up your generation once again. It is really cool. It is a very cool generation plugin and a lot of people seem to like this one. Even though I've never used it myself on a public Minecraft server, I have checked it out for a video before and I really like the way it looked. So if you're looking for a free and cool generation plugin, Terra might be the right choice for you. Now the next plugin is one I'm really excited for myself. I've absolutely loved this plugin since day one and it is Maze generator. Now this plugin, like the name might suggest, allows you to create mazes inside of Minecraft with just a single simple command. Now you can use these mazes for absolutely anything. You want to just do a maze? 
you can. But like fellow YouTuber Narfi suggested, you can also make a maze with a roof and just let a mob go wild in there, which essentially creates your own custom minigame. It is super cool. It is not just a maze generator. It really is a tool which you can use to do all sorts of cool stuff. Your imagination is the limit. I've really loved this plugin since the moment I first saw it and I can highly Highly recommend you checking it out. And with four plugins remaining on today's list, let's mention Old Trusty Grief Prevention. For those who have somehow never heard about this plugin before, it is an incredible plugin for Minecraft survival servers, which allows players to protect their own home or area. So in survival, you go away from spawn, you want to build a house, and then you come back the next day and everything is gone. It has just been griefed. Well, grief prevention prevents this. With a few simple clicks, you can protect your own home so that others can't destroy anything in there. Of course, you can also add friends to your area so that they can also build. And what's also a very cool feature is the longer you play on the server, the more blocks you can actually protect. So over time, you can claim a bigger and bigger area. So I've used this plugin on all of my SMP servers that I've ever had. I can only give it my highest recommendations. If you don't want an anarchy server, if you just want nice survival, then grief prevention is essential. Next up, we're gonna talk holograms. To be more precise, decent holograms. So Decent Holograms is a plugin which allows you to create holograms. You basically see holograms in any Minecraft server you visit nowadays. A Decent Holograms is the best plugin by far to create these. Holographic Display is a plugin that went before it, but in my opinion it is not that great anymore. It also seems to be outdated all the time, while Decent Holograms has a very active developer and also a lot of cool features that you might want to use. But even if you just want to create a simple hologram, decent holograms can do it. It's the one I've used a lot in the past and I would highly recommend it. We're nearing the end. Only two more plugins to cover and one of them is Graves. So you might have played on a Minecraft server before where if you die, your items are not getting dropped on the ground. Instead, they will go inside of a chest, aka a grave. And you have a limited time to collect your grave before it disappears. Now Graves also has a ton of customization settings. You can for example make it so that after 5 hours your grave disappears. And for one full hour, everything will be protected. Meaning that only you can loot your grave but others can't. But after that one hour has passed, everybody that finds your grave will be able to raid it. Now Graves even knows when you, for example, die in the void. So let's say you die in the end, then instead of not having a grave, the grave will appear at the place you last touched the land. Stuff like that is just really cool. And in any Minecraft survival server, I would recommend using a plugin like this. Just having all of your stuff being dropped, it's not that fun. Just add graves. And then the very last plugin of today, it is none other than Geyser MC. So if you live in a world where you've never heard about Geyser MC before, GG. I don't know how you did it, but you did. Geyser MC is an extremely popular Minecraft plugin, which after you install it on a Java Edition server, will allow Bedrock Edition players to join that server. It basically adds real crossplay, so that whatever version of Minecraft you have, Java, Bedrock, for phone or Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter, you can all play together. Now, I've made multiple videos on this channel about Geyser MC and how to set it up. If it sounds interesting to you, I would highly recommend checking those out. It is an awesome plugin. And that is gonna be everything for today. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just check if that subscribe button is actually pressed. You would help me out so much if you did. And if you wanna suggest any plugin to be featured in one of the upcoming episodes, make sure to get on my Discord, go to the suggestions channel and create a new post in there with the top 15 tag so that I can see and consider it. Also, I I want to thank my channel members for the incredible support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for helping me out. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.